Howdy. Howdy. Today we welcome a new member of the Aggie family. This is an exciting day for Texas A&M, Texas A&M athletics, and of course our baseball program. It's also historic. So how about this? We've only announced three other baseball coaches since 1959. And I would say this is a home run announcement. Do we have bubbles? Can we cue the bubbles when we say home run? Somebody's got bubbles in here. So, so that's right, Coach Schlossnagel is only the fourth coach since 1959. And a little trivia, before 1959 we had 17 coaches, including Coach Unknown in 1894. <laughs> he had a 3-1 record, or whoever it was, I don't know, probably it was a he, I guess. Um, but think about that. Tom Chandler. Mark Johnson, who's here today. Where's Coach uh, Johnson? <laughs> and, then, uh, and then, of course, uh, Coach Childers. We want to thank him for, for his service. But let that sink in. And now we have Jim Schlossnay. And then I had some advisors at home. My wife, Sonia, who's here. Uh, Peyton is at a football workout. He, uh, he knows a lot of college baseball coaches, so he had a few opinions. Um, and then Paxton. Tuesday night, I walk in and I'm like, okay, we got everything done. Like everything's signed, all the MOUs are signed. And he says, please tell me that he's a good coach. <laughs> so that was his input, so no, no pressure, no pressure. So Texas A&M Baseball, the corner of George Bush Drive and Olson Boulevard, Bluebell Park, Olson Magic, holding up one, two, three, four, five fingers. When you hear that train, that horn, honking on the train tracks. Bubbles when we score. Ball five, ball six, ball seven. I heard ball 11 this year. We got up to ball 11, I think. The rifleman, right? When we make the strikeout. Kids roaming the berms, the playground, singing deep in the heart of Texas, and God bless America. Some pretty famous heckling. Okay, so my section 203 over here. So you guys are back in full force in 2022. You can stop tweeting at me. Okay, we're done, you're back. We're all good, right? Okay, section 203. Those are the things that define Texas A&M baseball. But here is what also should define Texas A&M baseball. Competing in the SEC at the highest level. Recruiting the best and brightest in Texas, but also in beyond, but in particular in the state of Texas. Being in the hunt to host regionals, super regionals, going to Omaha, and of course winning the national championship. That is our vision. And so pursuing the right coach who could deliver on that vision was the goal of this search. Someone who's a leader, not, not just a coach, but a leader who could create a vision and build on this platform of success and capitalize on the recruiting bed that is Texas and achieve the dreams and aspirations that, that we all have for this program but also live by the Aggie core values. Respect, excellence, leadership, loyalty, integrity, and selfless service. And it really came down to one, one leader, one man, Jim Schlossnick, winning his coach in the state of Texas in the last 10 years. He's won 54 postseason games, 15 NCAA tournaments, conference or national coach of the year 10 times. He's won 811 games as a head coach, 20 conference titles, been to Omaha five times. He's won 11 games. That's tied for the most of any active head coach. When we sat down with Coach Schlossnagel and met for the first time, we could see that his drive, his passion, his commitment to high-level baseball, but also doing it the right way was exactly what we wanted. The three-hour meeting felt like 30 minutes. It was really one of the best interviews that I've been a part of. There's a connection here. And we believe that his leadership and commitment to young men on and off the field will carry us forward. So we want to give a big Aggie Land and Texas A&M welcome to Katie, who's here in the front row, to Jackson. Yeah, what an awesome day, and I've certainly uh, 
been on the other side plenty of times with Section 203 and bubbles and ball 47. It felt like it was only ball six, but it felt like 50. Um, just incredibly honored and humbled uh, to be in this position. My job with the players is to give them the best chance to, to have success. That's simply, to me, what a leader is, is, is you put people in the best position to have success, you help them to become the very best version of themselves, and when we all do that, then the, the results in the baseball field will take care of itself. And then lastly, after academics and player development, is team success. We want to win championships. Not play for championships, not win a game in Omaha. We want to play for, we want to play for and win a national title, and that's the bottom line. You can, and, a, and a recruit out there, you can achieve all of that here. Uh, I am heavily involved in recruiting. Um, I, uh, most people would call me a boring guy, Jackson, Katie, pretty boring, pretty boring. I, I, uh, uh, I appreciate how pretty a golf course is, but uh, I don't play golf. I don't have very many hobbies. Uh, I believe my job is a lifestyle. It's not a profession. To, to Aggie Nation and, and Aggie Land and, and our great fans, you have my full-on commitment, full-on commitment, that there will never be a minute or an hour or a day where I'm not doing something to better this baseball program and make it a product that you want to see and be a part of. Um, I've, had the, I've had to stand in the imposing dugout at Olsen Field and Bluebell Park uh, in, in playoffs and, and uh, regionals and super regionals, and I know what that's like. And so my job is to put a product on the field uh, that everybody wants to come see, uh, not just because you're a fan, but because you want to see great baseball and competitive baseball and big games and big weekends, and we're going to and we're going to work like crazy every day to do that. I think an Aggie baseball game should be the thing to do in the spring uh, from February when it's a little chilly uh, to June right before Omaha when you know we're, we're sweating to death out there like it is today and, and, and on a super regional weekend trying to make our way to the College World Series. And then lastly, uh, the, the goal is a national title. That's it. There won't ever, there won't ever be a day when the goal is anything less than that. Uh, we have standards. Standards are behavior based. We know what those are, relis. Uh, goals are performance-based, and we'll do everything we can to control that and get to, get to and win at the College World Series. Know that I am a very impatient guy. Uh, winning never feels as good as losing feels bad to me, so I can't stand uh, to, to lose. Uh, I understand that it's going to happen, but every year, if we're allowed to play 56, I expect to go 56 and up. I get it, it's probably not going to go that way, but uh, that's, that is what I'm about, and that's what you can hold me accountable to. Um, but we are going to do it the right way. We are going to do it the right way. There are no shortcuts to anything great, and anything worth having takes a lot of work, and it doesn't happen overnight. But understand that as soon as, as, soon as it can possibly happen, it will.